JD here, and as you can see, we are back on F1 23, and today we are going to go against the 110% AI with not equal performance, so realistic performance. So I'm choosing the Mercedes here and just trying to make it a little bit more challenging than it would be instead of just choosing the best car, which is most likely going to be the Red Bull right now. And we're going to do a bit in Austria because this is obviously the track we have this weekend for the real F1 Canada, something I've been doing on every game. And I'll be showcasing the entire 25% race here. So realistic performance against 110 AI. And basically, let's see how we do. And I'm not going to be using a setup. So I'm going to be using a preset setup. So the increased downforce preset two. The only thing I changed is the brake bias and the differential. And let's just get straight into it. So we've got five bites here, starting in fourth place and trying to get a really, really good start here, which we managed to do really well against this 100 AI as Perez is actually on the hard tires, believe it or not. So managed to muscle our way through into third place. And now let's see how difficult this AI is because with an actual setup on, I think I'd be going three temps to maybe half a second a lap fast as we're almost smashed into the back of Lance Stroll here. So really crucial to get past him because Verstappen's AI you can imagine it is going to be the strongest AI here. So we really need to get try and get past Stroll and keep within the DRS zone of this Red Bull. Because the AI do like to use quite a bit of the ERS at the start of a race or when they sense you're quite close, they will be using it. And they definitely seem to have quite a bit more battery on board compared to what you would normally have. And with this 110 AI performance, they do have a bit of a... Uh, kind of an alien acceleration which you cannot actually replicate even if you were using zero zero wings or something like that so really crucial that we stay within the DRS zone and that's exactly what I'm going to trying to be doing here so I'm going to be expending all of my battery just to make sure I get within that DRS because the DRS in this game is incredibly powerful so I have to use quite a bit of the battery but definitely seems in this corner in particular we do make quite a few gains of this AI especially in the acceleration as you can see we gained about a tenth here but you will also see the acceleration again is going to be going quite good with uh, Verstappen so staying within that one second window here and I felt quite confident at this stage that I wouldn't have to be using that much more battery to stay within that detection point. So once you start or cross the start finish line after three laps, so it's not before, once you go past it. So before turn one, we've got to make sure we're comfortably within that one second, but you can see the acceleration just on this straight alone. They've gained, well, Verstappen's gained two tenths of a second. So not gonna have the DRS yet, but as we cross the line, using a little bit now just to ensure, trying to keep it above 10% battery, because if you go below 10%, that's where you will be losing quite a significant amount of power in a straight line. So we've got the DRS now, and really the goal is just to try and build up that battery as much as you possibly can. So going to this corner, I'm going to be downshifting quite late. So I'm not using second gear, using third gear going into that turn two or turn three, whichever turn you want to call it. And you can see there's a bit of a gap behind, so there's no real pressure from the cars behind so all we can do is just focus on just trying to get as close as we possibly can without using as much battery as possible i did do this test with the red bull before this and i didn't complete the full race because it felt like it was a little bit too easy with the red bull being the fastest car so i decided to use the mercedes which on paper seems to be the third fastest realistic car to make it a bit more of a challenge and yeah that's all we're trying to do here is use a little bit of the battery again because you can see just that acceleration of this AI if I lost the DRS then I think it'd be very difficult to get back within it because even with the DRS here you can see we're we're not even gaining anything you can see if anything he was actually pulling away on that straight as we were having the DRS so that just shows how powerful they are so having to use the battery again but it seems to be as you get towards the middle 
part of the race that's where they are not pushing so at the start and towards the end of the last couple of laps is where the AI seem to be expending most of their battery so as long as we can kind of make it to lap six lap seven that kind of range then we should be in the position to be able to start saving the battery rather than wasting and still using a little bit here a little bit of a boost so just trying to keep it as close to 10 percent and above as much as i possibly can and really pushing the limits of the track I feel like we were driving quite well and this track feels really good on f123 I think some of the changes they've made are going through this turn one with the curbing here and on the exit and in particular the middle sector which I will point out as we get there. A little bit of a tarmac change as well coming through this one and the curbing here is still used a lot of the track. Coming through it got a little bit deeper that time but looks like the AI are not using the battery quite as much. Tire wear is not too bad, tire temperatures are kind of in the optimal range where you want them to be at this stage so using all the track again and as you come off the exit of this corner this is where I think some of the major changes have been so you could ride this curb on the left hand side the inside quite a bit but now if you do touch that it will pretty much give you a little bit of an auto spin so those curbings have definitely changed quite a bit from F122 but something I do prefer I do prefer where you have to actually avoid curbs otherwise it'll punish you rather than just being able to do absolutely everything so red ball ring in this game i think i am definitely preferring so far and you can see we're lapping quite consistently at the stage so the mediums are going uh, quite well and you can see we are starting to get a little bit closer to the snapper so let's see if we gain any time on this straight and you can still see it's kind of maintaining itself but we do gain a little bit towards the end so signifies to me Verstappen is not using his battery so as we get more towards the middle that's where it can be more comfortable and the closer we get within the slipstream the more we can actually save as well you can see the gap to the cars behind four seconds so Ferraris and Aston Mines are the car behind my teammate Perez who decided to start on the hard tyre you can see is creating a little bit of a train effect behind him but yeah just feeling really good in this game right now and kind of like what i did my previous ai video that i did at silverstone i don't think the ai are quite as alien like um, as they were on some scenarios and some tracks on f122 because again i think if we were running a setup here then i think we'd pretty much be all over verstappen and yeah i don't think it'd be too easy but right now i'm definitely still having to work quite hard it's definitely not a walk in the park because I think if I lost the DRS at any point you know then it would be quite difficult and I'd have to use all the battery again to close back in so really pushing quite hard being quite aggressive on the traction going through this corner so really pushing the limits quite a bit but yeah still uh, fairly good at this stage of the race not having to change the brake bias the differential that much I'd say the sweet spot for the brake bias and differential is the 55-55. I will be going into setups in a bit more detail as we almost got collected on that auto spin curb there. So I want to be avoiding that at all costs. But I will be continuing my setups next week. I've been a little bit ill the past couple of days. You might be able to hear it in my voice perhaps. But yeah, I've been a little bit ill the past couple of days. And I will be looking to upload a new setup every single day for every track apart from weekends so make sure you subscribe for that and if you are interested in getting better and reaching your potential on f123 then make sure you go to www.coachlimitless.com my coaching sessions open next week uh, from july which i think it's all booked out for next week but the week afterwards onwards there are more slots and if you look at my ultimate coaching bundle you can get 10 direct 90 minute sessions with me for a pretty significant discount if you're really looking to take it quite serious um, with your driving so thank you so much everyone who has been booking those also for people who've been clicking that join button joining my open lobbies they will be continuing on a daily basis as well but as we reach almost a halfway stage of this race you can see we're slowly drifting closer and closer to Verstappen got about 35% or now 37% of this ERS and 
it doesn't look like he's using much of the battery but you know if this was in a multiplayer but the DRS would normally give you two to three temps on a straight so coming off the exit this corner gap is about four temps I'd, I could, could be probably be in a position to overtake if he wasn't using any of the battery so either the AI is just using the battery or the acceleration is just insane because we're barely gaining anything so I was really conscious of trying to save as much battery as I could because I suspected that I would be definitely be needing to use it coming towards the end of this race and I just wanted to be as close as I could because I know in the pit stops he's got probably going to be very very fast once he boxes and goes out on soft so I need to be quite comfortably within the DRS zone if there's any mishap in the pit stop I can't afford to really overcut him because I don't think that would happen if I went out a lap later I think he'd be building too much of a gap so now he is actually going to box so we are going to follow him in try and respect the track by just keeping it in there probably would have been a penalty in real life but we'll let it slide here so trying to nail that quite nicely did that quite well and you want to be selecting this about half a second so 0.5 to 0.7 that's the optimal but go through here we had a bit of a kerfuffle with the release there and I think we have actually lost a little bit of time so really crucial that we stay with the snapper so this is a really awkward pit exit this is the first time I've actually done it as well so coming up here luckily we are going to get the DRS from Verstappen and you can see at the moment the gap is almost one second but we have Albon up ahead of him who Verstappen is going to overtake so it's absolutely crucial now that we overtake this Williams if we get held up in any way then I think it's actually going to be quite difficult to beat Verstappen and Albon does have the DRS as well but we're going to have to make this overtake so we've got Gagani inside coming through into here does he give us room yes he does and we are comfortably again within the DRS zone of Verstappen so that could have really ruined the run quite badly because although I feel the pace is good we just need to use the battery to stay with it and you can see this AI look how fast it is actually putting away here now so got to make sure we are staying within that DRS zone so we're absolutely pushing the limits doesn't really look that bad here but as I was driving I really was trying to stretch it and just keeping an eye on that delta making sure it's not going to go over that one second looks like everyone else has now pitted and coming up next here we do get the DRS but just still focusing on that top left delta you can see my eyes looking to that top left of the screen just trying to avoid using any unnecessary battery because we need to build this up again coming into the last couple of laps from this race because if I do get a position to be ahead I know with this AI if they get DRS on me then they are going to be an absolute missile on a straight line so I've got to be maximizing the braking as much as I possibly can and as we go through the next couple of laps I'll just start talking through my braking points as well and please let me know if you'd like me to do this for other tracks like I said I will be doing my hot lap assert videos but I think for every Grand Prix I might be doing a 110 AI attempt and you can see having to go under 10% of the battery here now just pushing the absolute limits of this car and are we going to be using the battery again yes we do so he does a 5.6 we do a 5.7 so just under tip difference but he doesn't have the DRS so it does show how fast this Verstappen AI actually is still having to use the battery here so like I predicted towards the beginning of the stints the AI like to use the battery but then towards the middle of them that's where they kind of calm down and try and save it all for the last couple of laps so right now I've got to try and save as much battery as I can and really prepare for these last two laps be as close as I can under the Delta and then try and get towards 30-40% of the battery that's what I kind of really need to be aiming for at this stage um, of the race but as we go through the next lap I'll start talking through kind of my mindset driving this track my breaking points things to really focus on um, as well so I come through into this one, I'm trying to keep it above that 10%. So we want to be in that saving phase right now. But go through these corners, I think this is where we do gain a little bit of time. Going through this last corner, you can see in the Delta we have gained quite a good amount of time. But having to use it again, just didn't want to run that risk of losing it. So come into here, just after the 100 meter board, want to kiss this curb, use the curb in the exit, make sure you get on the DRS line. And as we're coming up 
into this right hand that you want to be using a lot of the track on this left hand side so coming into fourth gear so really just after 100 meters for fourth gear and then a nice late shift into third gear because otherwise the car can tend to over rotate make sure you get on the drs sign on the exit and then coming into this one using all of the track again so just after that 100 meter board when we're attacking this apex so fairly late apex and then coming to this one a bit different approach on this game compared to last year's game but coming to here after the 50 meter board when we get as close as you can to this without hitting it use all of the track and exit once that curb finishes that is your turning in point attack this nice and early so fast in and fast out and then coming into this one a bit of a different experience for these last two corners but really just before the 50 meter board when we're going in sixth gear maybe even seventh gear middle of the track then you go down into fifth gear so once the wheel is straight for about a second or so that's when you'll be breaking and turning in for the last corner and that is really a lap of the red bull ring so i always try and take kiss this curb on the first turn you can mount it on the inside i think in time trial the quicker way is to mount that curb on the inside but there are a little bit more risks to doing that in terms of receiving damage and kind of bottling out on that curb so i really like to try and just kiss it for consistency purposes and you can see now we are slowly getting a little bit closer to verstappen and trying to save this battery um, at the same time so we're just really trying to plan our attack and i think i would probably want to be the car ahead going into the last lap most of the time because i think their AI, I think if they're going to be using the battery and 100% of it, then, you know, you can see even the DRS were not really gaining that much time. So I think we need to be maybe in that position. Um, just so that's really what I was kind of planning here. So just trying to get as close as we can. And you can see we're getting close to half a second now. So 20% of the battery, but I think we still need to save just a little bit more than that. So just doing everything we can to really keep that delta down as much as you possibly can you can see the gap to the cars behind are over 10 seconds now with 110 ai so that just shows how dominant verstappen's ai is definitely felt at this part of the circuit where i was strongest so that breaking into turn two and three and the traction on the exit especially coming through the last corner as well i feel like we gained quite a bit of time also on the exit of the tail one so you can see we're slowly but surely just getting that little bit closer now so 50 meter balls make sure you're focusing on that using all the track and now we are within four tenths of a second so yeah looks like he's not really using much of the battery so you can see we're almost saved about five to six percent this lap let's see what it is because i think it was 20 percent at the start of last lap so see saving about maybe eight percent a lap seven percent a lap so if we could do that for the next couple of laps, get it well up towards the 40-ish percent, that would be a pretty good place to be. So keeping it nice and tight here, trying to just minimize any mistakes as much as we possibly can. You can see we are gaining a little bit of time now on the DRS in a straight line. You can see again this corner here. And we're not going to be using any of the batteries, so it's still not wasting at all. But you can see with that slipstream effect, get really tucked in behind. Are we going to go for an overtake here? And I think the answer is yes, we're going to go for an overtake. Making sure we're trying to be respectful of this AI as much as we possibly can. And okay, just work. really need to decide how I want to do this now. Do I want to be the lead car? Or do I want to be the car behind going into this last lap? I was kind of thinking maybe being the lead car and then let him go into turn three. And then that seems to be the strongest point in the second but you can see that's acceleration for this AI again. There's just absolutely nothing you can do there. So yeah, maybe not. Um, so yeah, let's see what we do here. Turning off the DRSO, making sure the AI doesn't defend because I don't want them to really break my front wing on the exit this corner. And using the DRS, let's see how much time we actually gain. So put the ultimate lap of the race here but this is definitely my strongest part of the lap so really breaking going quite deep making a bit of a better angle and on the traction here we always seem to get a really really good exit a much better exit this time so up to 40 percent of the battery now are we gonna go for this overtake once again this time i think we're gonna be a little bit more forceful with this overtake and then try and lead going to start something you can see he's actually lost a lot of time because of that overtake so 
Sometimes the AI get a little bit awkward when you push them offline as we run a little bit out wide, which is not going to help our cause at all, but still getting a good exit. And I don't think he is going to be close enough to overtake going into this penultimate corner. So we are going to be the lead car into this last lap. And we have about 45% of the battery, so we are in a good position. So we're not going to be doing anything here. Are we going to let him go into so on? So this is where the AI tend to use all of their ERS. So we're going to let him do this. And we're going to get a really nice run on the exit of this turn one. Still not using the battery because I knew my strongest point would be the exit of this next right hand. So we're really going to try and force him to be nice and defensive. So we're going to let him have this corner. And then we're going to go for a little bit of a switchback to really try and focus on that traction. Now we've got all the ERS to use. And you can see even with the DRS, look how fast they are in a straight line. But is he going to go defensive? Not complete defensive. So we have to be a lot more forceful on this inside here now. And just the battery because I knew that the Sapper's AI would be running all of its ERS coming towards the end of this race. And you've already seen that he has the ability to overtake me going into this last corner as well. So we're making sure we get a really good run coming off here using the ERS and is it going to be fast? Look how fast it is accelerating going to his absolute head. But there is a yellow flag, which I think might save me. As we come into this last corner here now, we are going to take the W against this 110 AI. And that was probably one of the best races I've actually had with the 110 AI. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you learned something there and it was entertaining for you. Enjoy the Grand Prix this weekend. Make sure you head over to www.coachnimbus.com. Click that join button if you'd like to race in my open lobbies. And I'll be catching you very, very soon. Peace.